Hello friends, welcome to my channel by Silparag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to pass message from child component to parent component, right? In last video, we have seen how to pass message from child component to parent component. In last video, we have seen how to pass single message from child component to parent component, right? In this video, we will see how to pass multiple values from child component to parent component. So see, here we have added only one text filter, right? Enter name and only one value we were taking from the user, right? Now, in this video, in this example, what we will do, we will add multiple text fields and this multiple text field data we will pass to parent component. So what we will do, whatever the example, whatever the program code that we have seen in previous video, same example, we will edit, we will update. Okay, so see. So in last video, we have created two components, right? child component 5 and parent component 5. So see, here we had only one text field, right? So see, instead of one text field, now we will have two text field. So see, that one text field I am copying here. Okay. Now see, here label we will change, enter first name and here we will add enter last name. Okay. Now see, function also we have to change, right? So enter first name if someone enter any data. So we have to call handle change first name. If someone enters any data into this text field, so this function will be called handle change first name, right? Now see, and if someone enters data into another text field, second text field, so this function will be called. So we will give name like this. Handle change first name and handle change last name, right? Okay. Button will be one only, right? Okay. So we have saved it. Now see here we have changed function name right so that changes will incorporate in javascript file so see in javascript file we have only one function so what we have to do we will require two functions like this right handle change first name first name and handle change last name like this now see here we had only one property name right but here we require two properties first name and last name so see here we will change first name and we will take one more property last name like this right okay here also we will change first name and here we will add last name like this so see if someone enters any value into first text field so that we will assign to first name and if someone enters any value into second text field so we will assign that value to this second property right okay now see what changes we have to do here while creating event so see when we have created this event so what we have done only one value we have passed right so in previous example there was only one property right so only that property here we have mentioned now to this detail property we have to assign multiple values in our example two values right so how to assign c we will take it to next line like this okay now see instead of this one value now we have to assign two values right so see okay so i am deleting this now see in curly bracket we will mention two values so see i am taking one variable first name colon our property name is first name right this first name so see that we will copy and that we will assign to first name then we will put comma and see we have to access first name property right so that's why here we have to mention this dot first name in the same way we will allocate second value so see suppose i am taking one variable last name colon this dot last name okay so last name property that here we have created okay in dispatch event there will be no change right so same this variable this search event object here we have to pass right okay now we will save it okay now see in parent component what changes we have to do see so in html file so see in last example there was only single name right but here we have first name and last name right so see here we will take last name in curly bracket we have to mention property name right and these properties are defined in parent components right so see what we will do 
same name here we will give first name last name and this property is we have to define in javascript file of parent component right okay so see in this parent component instead of this one property now we will have two properties right so see same property name here we will give first name and last name like this now see in last example we got only one value from child component right so that one value was in detail property right and that we have allocated to name property but now in this case we have two properties right first name and last name so see how we can get so see here we will write first name like this first name this parent component property and from this detail now in detail we have two more properties right here you can see in detail we have two more properties first name and last name f capital n capital l capital n capital right so same variable names here we have to mention so see here in javascript file event dot detail dot first name so f capital n capital because see same name we have mentioned here right first name f capital n capital so same name here we have to mention event dot detail dot first name and same thing for last name last name is equal to event dot detail dot last name L capital N capital right and at the end semicolon so see in detail we have two more properties first name and last name first name we have allocated to first name property of parent component and last name property of detail property we have allocated this value to last name property of parent component right okay so it is done now we are saving it okay so see we will deploy child component and parent component Okay, it is done. Now see parent component that we will deploy. Okay, it is done. Now see. Okay, now we will refresh by control F5. So here we got enter first name, enter last name. And here first name and last name we got in single line, right? So that we will change. See. In HTML file. Here we will correct spelling first name and last name, right? So, see what we will do, we will add it in another division. Div tag we will use, okay? It is done again. We will deploy. Okay, it is done. Now see, we will refresh it by control F5. Okay, so here we got first name and last name, right? Okay. Now see, suppose I am entering Parag and in second text field, I am entering Zambulkar. Now we will click on this button, click here. So here you can see first name Parag, last name Zambulkar, right? See, if I make it Mayur and here if you write Chavan, click here. So, first name Mayur, last name Chavan, right? So, in this example, we have passed two values from child component to parent component. I will provide this program code in my Udemy course. If you have not joined my Udemy course, please join it and also provide 5 star rating. Okay, so we will meet in next video. Thank you.